Hi guys, this is me again, Dennis Hagov and our electrotransport shop in Europe you see dot sale so if you need unicycle for a good price with a good service and a fast Europe delivery with no taxes, no wait line for a long time so you can just contact us and we will made a sale for you and we will help you to choose right one unicycle or electric scooter and so you just contact us and in the contacts below and definitely you will be happy with provided service by our usc.sale shop and today we have uh, for a review we have uh, big body tesla 3 the new one model of uh, tesla line unicycle so firstly i will talk about the all difference main difference between the previous generation wheels tesla and the new one i will talk about the in my opinion i will talk about the building quality will talk about the overall dynamics and my feelings after i was right with this wheel and compare this wheel to the segment and we will, will I think we will try to find the right one place for this wheel and what uh, for what needs this wheel is built for so and about the specification overall the performance and so on so let's start okay from the beginning and Shortly, I just wanted to start from the uh, from the history of the Tesla one wheels so from the first one when the first one Tesla first generation was came to the market. It was more like a lightweight wheel, small one wheel, uh, but with a very good uh, dynamics and very good specification, uh, such uh, like the. Uh, 1020 watt hour battery 84 volts and with a maximum speed till the 50 kilometers per hour small one lightweight till 20 kilos one wheel so and every extreme riders who like to ride fast who to ride more uh, with a smallest one wheel to ride mostly in the cities and not to have a very big and heavy one wheel to to trolley it every day maybe to till the fourth or fifth floor and so on needs more mobility here to put it somewhere in the car and not just take all this car all this place inside your car and so on so this was the real meaning and real purpose of this one wheel why the tesla came to the market and definitely starting from the first generation the first one wheels where it was very very good product and many many popularity these wheels get from the uc riders so after that the second one generation came to the market last year and some uh, needed updates was done like the uh, motor kill button like the building speakers inside the wheel so all these updates was necessary for the riders and this really was nice and we keep selling these wheels uh, and sell them a lot so it was quite good building quality and uh, not so big issues from the beginning uh, with these wheels was found so it was just a working one machine every day for every day you using and in every condition so but in the past of uh, few years the usc riders definitely says the opinion but what we like and what we don't uh, like or dislike in the Tesla one series wheels and first of all all users says what the tire 16 inch on 2.25 um, 2.125 was too too tiny too small to keep all this power and keep all this speed and ride in dynamically in the city and in the end fast in fastly riding fastly in the city so uh, 
Uh, we know uh, some companies, not companies, but communities made their updates and they made own type of uh, pillars, made the rising all the body up and putting here the bigger 2.5 tire. And the reason of that was just to make this wheel more responsive for the cornering, for, for the fast cornering. So this is, was first message to the manufacturer to keep it in mind with a new generation of wheels. And the second, of course, as I was said, it was the very low clearance. As you can see, the body is really low and all these wheels are closed. So this is this one solution uh, deny you uh, or the giving you no ability to riding in the hard conditions like the riding upstairs, downstairs uh, or ri ride on off-road because you're hitting with all this body in, in all obstacles. So this one also was told to the manufacturers as a disadvantage, disadvantage for this one wheel. So and every who likes the Tesla one and really need the Tesla one wheel, smaller one wheel, dynamic wheel, but wanted the visibilities to see in the next generation. But as we can see, the manufacturers come uh, own way, the manufacturers come uh, his own way and do not make this needed solution. So we see here, same body, same clearance, and we see here definitely what the tire is the same 16 on 2.125 so and yes I was right and this wheel now have about 150 kilometers uh, mileage uh, overall uh, so I write with this wheel tested a lot it uh, and what can I say about that it's really true because when you riding till the 30 kilometers per hour it is one story but when you start riding in the 40 till 50 kilometers per hour it is another story because you need to pass all these cornerings and you starting to push this wheel in such a high speed in one corner in another corner and you understand what this tire cannot perform good and cannot perform well and in the such speed so this problem still exists, so uh, having such power, so, such a maximum speed, but not having all this fun when you're trying to make a speedy corner, may, trying to, to give the wheel the right trajectory to, to get this corner, this is not impossible with uh, such a small tire. So still, if somebody will buy it and will wa want more performance, you will need to think about the same like we're putting bigger tire here and so on, raising the body and so on. So, this is very interesting one point. So, about the main difference between the Tesla V2 and the Tesla V3. First of all, we, as you can see, we have no more here the Tesla logo uh, and we don't have uh, outside speakers uh, from on our side so no logo no speakers as you can see so now the speakers are inside the body the solution like the, we see in the Nikola and the, on our wheels from the Bigodi company so we're just looking inside the rim and that's how we solve this problem because you need to understand the wheels dimensions are same uh, what it was previously I, I am talking about all around body so but the battery difference and this is the second one point is now the battery capacity rise till the uh, 1500 watt hours so almost 500 watt hours more now in the Tesla 3. So what this one giving to you? It is giving for you firstly more power and now the manufacturer says what this motor now produces uh, 2000 watts not 1090 900 watts but 2000 watts uh, 100 watts more and this one is just because of uh, capacity of a battery but you now can push more and battery can give you more power and controller can absorb more power and provide it to the motor so 
And I, with my weight 97 kilograms, I see the difference between Tesla 2 and the Tesla 3, 3 because I now I can push it more and the, in the total distance I am riding, I can use the wheel more in the power mode, more pushing it in all this distance because in the Tesla V2 I saw it, but it was quite fun to ride first uh, 15 till 20 kilos and after the battery uh, going down, the, uh, the capacity going down and the wheel begin to to say to me what uh, slow down, begin to beeping because the voltage is dropping so fastly. So here, bigger battery, not such a problem and I can run quite fast all this, all this trip. So this is important part too. About the body, this uh, side shells are bigger now as you can see compared to the Tesla 2 bigger uh, one because of the batteries of course. Almost as I said 500 watt hours are here and now we are using the elements uh, not the 18650 but the elements uh, 21 uh, 700 so another elements another type of batteries and bigger capacity here bigger covers and they even they made this, uh, this covers and made this place all this room here now are filled with, with uh, batteries and even they do not put the magnet inside the inside the shell because of the room with very no room just to put even the magnet so they made another solution like we saw in the oldest version in the King Song models with such a uh, additional uh, metal metal inserts here for the pedals and now pedals are closing not on the magnets but closing like that. It is good or not, uh, decide, it is up to you to decide, but uh, as I can say now, this one solution fixing the pedals in the closed position much better compared to the magnets one. So I think I like this solution more. How long it will last and it will work, it, we will see with a time, but now as I can say, yes, it is better. As you can see, the pedals now are with a more V form. It is gives you more stability for riding and more uh, you can push more it aggressively to the corner, not to touch the, the, the ground with a foot plate. And foot plates now bigger one, and as you can see now the foot plates are like uh, same like in the Nikola uh, by the size. Uh, same like the Nikola pedals are have. So this is one. It's the new uh, for the Tesla 3, and this is a great, great upgrade. I think. The, another one point. I don't know these measurements. The white of the pedals and white with the pillars. But by my feeling, I feel that the now the Tesla 3. Uh, distance between the foot plates are bigger here so you are staying on the wheel more stable. This is my feeling that I was right. Another one new solution upgrade and this one is just because of the batteries too. It is the handle as you can see it is bigger now here handle just because the batteries are going in this place so they needed to split the handlebars uh, <laughs> much more one from an hour uh, just to, to fit here all these batteries and I found that this one handle is better because you have just a more room to take it and it's more comfortable. The height from the from the tire, uh, from the button till the, till the maximum splitting, you can see I was measured it, but I, as I said, I don't have the measurements of, uh, and I don't have a possibility to measure the Tesla V2 because we don't have them anymore on stock here. So you can compare it. You see all the digits and the next one difference we can clearly see here the beautiful uh, tail light 
with a Tesla logo. It is quite ergonomically designed and fits here quite good and now made the, like the backlights from the Tesla. It is not shining quite brightly in the dark and definitely you will not see it in the daylight but for what in the night you can see the, this beautiful logo here. So this is another difference we have. The pads are same, not comfortable, I will say it previously, you need to think to make it better here. But overall even the body go wider here. Uh, my feelings when I was riding was quite good and I don't feel discomfort. Maybe it was because of that uh, wide. Uh, from the pedals, the pedals are wider now and the wide between the pillars are bigger now so this makes the more comfort to you and you don't feel the body is uh, now more more wider so yes I think they, they solve this like that and of course the last one upgrade we have here is uh, New one we see in the Bigode product line is a screen uh, in the top of a wheel and this screen provides you the current speed, current speed. These screens provide you odometer, this one, this one is overall how many kilometers or miles you will ride with this wheel. And this speed also provides you the riding mode and the temperature of the controller you have. You can see the temperature here on this screen. And small Bigode logo and battery indicator of course and small Bigode logo on the side. About the screen, yes it is a good upgrade. Uh, but really for the rider it is not so necessary upgrade in my opinion. I will try to explain why because when I was riding in the speed till the 50 km per hour when you pushing the wheel you all your concentration are going to the road, to the corners, to the obstacles, to the pedestrians and so on. You need to see all this around when you and you are fully concentrated on the road. So in that in that moment when you're riding such a high speed 50 km per hour to to see what's going on between your legs to find the screen and to see all these parameters even the speed is quite dangerous and not so comfortable so i was tried in the speed till 30 yes it is okay but you're not interesting to see uh, what speed you are riding when you are riding in such a low speed. Yes, we want to see when you are riding in the limits of a wheel. So you want to see it and it's made, uh, made quite complicated to see in such speed. So I think you understand what I was, I uh, want to talk, I uh, want to tell you about. So yes, yeah, screen good. Uh, the quality of the screen, this seems like the old radio or old stereo amplifier or something like that because now we are living in 2021 year with the uh, age of uh, clever, super clever mobile phones, androids and so on, big huge screens. I have a huge screen in my coffee machine, color screen and so on. So here in the wheel with a price tax over the 2000, over the 1000 euros. So the uh, manufacturer definitely may made the greater full TFT screen here with the graphics and so on. But we do not do that. So very small uh, capacity of information we provide on the screen. And the next one part I want to talk and to come is about the overall the quality of the build and quality for the new products overall from all manufacturers and about the Tesla 3. So as I can as we received from one of the first in the Europe with wheels uh, so this one not the prototype not the demo one but this is the final product but firstly made for, uh, from the factory as the final product. So we receive it and what we have but I see that the screen is not working so well just because the odometer sometimes showing uh, us the 
real uh, distance was passed with wheel with all these strips starting from the box and sometimes it just showing uh, us the current trip after you power it on so we was contacted manufacturer the manufacturer says this is some type of a bug and we hope we will fix it with an update with a controller update and we say that all the new Tesla wheels now are uh, are uh, capable to update it to self to make the updates do, do it with um, your a mobile phone with a Bigode original app. So we're going, we go, we go to the update and we see that the updates are not working for the, this one product we have here on the table. So we contacted the manufacturer once more and we say yes, maybe it was the very first generation so it is not working with update. We will still send you Bluetooth model and you will try to update it uh, by the special model, not Bluetooth, but special model we need to push on the board so and put all these new updates and after it will work and this, all these bugs will be fixed. So. What I'm talking about, and uh, now I'm talking not about the, like the shop dealers just to sell you the product, but I'm talking about like the just you see guy who riding with these wheels, and I really, really like to ride. So what I wanted to talk about, do not, please do not hurry up, do not make all these pre-orders for the new products uh, until the six months uh, pass when the product is came to the market so until that you will definitely have a first or a second batch with all these bugs and you have a lot of problems and all your overall mud uh, when you spend a lot of money and you want to get the result you want to run with this wheel and get your pleasure but it is all this fun and all this positive feeling will disappear just because all these issues you will get with the first batches. So please do not hurry up, run with your oldest one wheels. The wheels was tested with a time and all bugs was fixed by the wheels but already in the market at least six months and more and you will definitely get the tested product with all these bug fixes so buying all this stuff i'm not talking about the big order or tesla i'm talking about all these manufacturers in motion king song godway have same problems same batches first batches a lot of problems so few few more months and you will see what the, the situation are, are definitely changes here so this is very important one part so do not hurry up before buying new one products because we see and the same situation with a new in motion v11 with a new big Ordis, and with a new king song s18 and so on so the first one people get with where we'll start using it and immediately a lot of forums start blowing a lot of groups and all discussing about these bugs and the new solution solutions are coming to the market and new batches new these parts are coming and clients are waiting and so on all this uh, all this type of uh, this UC community starts to be nervous and uh, all these feelings, as I said, was disappeared. So right with uh, tested products, with a good product, but not hurry up about new ones. So that's what I wanted to say, guys. This is just my opinion, like with Dennis Hagoff, not like the, like the shop, you know, shop manager and so on. So, returning to the Tesla 3, so this is, was not only one bug we have with a Tesla, the second one with a beam, so beam is not working, seems it like in the, in the, in the low beam always mode, like the wheel is, is uh, staying, uh, not using not your, for example, you power it on, it, you're not using it, so the beam is not uh, shining in the maximum bright mode you start to run and the beam starts shine more you know this this one was in our wheels from the bigodies and from another manufacturers this is just making to not overheat the lead lamp so but in the tesla 3 it is not working it is in the low beam you start to ride it start to blinking blink 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 and then it goes back to the low light mode so Manufacturer says we will also fix this with uh, new firmware and so on. 
This one and last one after the 100 kilometers ride. I see I start to have uh, like some type of uh, tremor here you can see on the video. So this tremor we saw firstly in the M10 free wheels and in that wheels the solution was, the idea was what the gyroscope in the main controller are too sensitive and the gyroscope uh, getting the all these small thickness, small vibrations from the motors and getting to, to, to the main board to the gyroscope and it is starting to uh, starting to make like the waves you know and this noise you see is, is because of that because of the high sensitivity so the solution for the M M10 free was to put the rubber insert between the radiator and the board to eliminate all of these small vibrations so maybe here we have we will have same solution but now from the box as you can see it is too sensitive Okay, so about overall experience, in my opinion, yes, this wheel is really very fun to ride. It is definitely more fun to ride compared to the Tesla, Tesla 2. And this will have a new one type of a motor, hollow motor. I don't really believe what the hollow motor will get in the future just because of the waterproofing. So the bearing issues with all manufacturers are the same and nobody can from the manufacturer in the past of the six months nobody can do nothing to fix that problem but if we will we get the water inside inside the bearings and with all these bearings begin begin rusty in the few few more hundred kilometers and they are out of order so here we also have a hollow motor and the main difference between the hollow motor and, and, and usual motor is the torque from the from the beginning and the riding smoothness so the hollow motor have more torque and more smoothness to for the ride so this is definitely true and that's why I think the manufacturers all manufacturers come to the hollow motors here but as I said, the problem still exists, and we will see how long the Tesla Free will last here with this, this hollow, hollow motor and this new type of uh, bigger one beating. So this is the last, last main difference between the Tesla 2. Yes. So as I was saying, dynamics is really good. Uh, if we change here the better tire, I mean the wider tire, the dynamics will, will be even better. But overall, I was raised right a lot with, uh, last week when uh, we was uh, going to another city, to the Palanga. This is our uh, city near the sea, so we have uh, beautiful roads. And last my video, you can see on my channel, really was exciting ride, right? 7 kilo, 70 kilometers ride. Uh, all day long so we get the pleasure and the Tesla was really nice one wheel to ride uh, with a Tesla was riding my son and really a lot of uh, our riders uh, had ability and possibility to test it and all riders as was, uh, as one says what this wheel is definitely very fun to ride very responsive very good in control in the low speed so you definitely want to start playing with this wheel not playing in the super high speed but you just want to play all around you know you want to ride forward you want to ride backward you know want to spin to make like the eight and so on so really fast response very accelerative uh, good hard braking wheel for uh, such such type of riding so yes here Tesla free is really good one and a good one choice and even the heavy riders can feel what this one will have a torque and have a power and have a possibility to keep you on that wheel if you don't when you're staying and when you heavy weight and you're staying on, on this wheel you don't have these feelings what the wheel will cut off now you know what you will push it and the motor will 
cut off. So here we don't have that feeling, we have the feeling of a strong one wheel. So the second one part will be all about the overall classification of these wheels, this segment and my opinion about that. So just to returning to the history shortly, the first one and second one generation of the Tesla's wheel was still the 20 kilograms. So this is really till 20, it is lightweight wheel. More than the 20, in my opinion, it is heavyweight wheel. So definitely I see the situation quite clearly. So the older one, as I said, till 20, 90.5 was, I think. So now the manufacturers in the specification says this one Tesla 3 now is 22 kilos. Okay, I was measured it few hours ago. Real weight was 22.9 kilos, even with 22.95 kilos, so almost 23 kilos. So in this range of 23 kilos, we have the King Song 18XL, I think. Uh, in this range, we have the Nikola 100 volt plus 16 inch on three point tire with 1800 watt hours and so on, 100 volt, more fast wheel, and so on. So, uh, what I want to deliver to you, my message is what. This wheel not more in the lightweight wheels class. So it is no more in that. So three kilos more, even more than the three kilos more weight, just because of the batteries and I think because of a hollow motor, it's quite heavier because of the technology building. So made this wheel a little bit in my opinion, of course this is only my subjective opinion, but in my opinion this wheel is now like in out of the game for me. Yes, it is fun to ride, very powerful, very heavy, with very, very strong distance you can ride, yes, but with the same weight and almost the same price tag, you just can buy the Nikola Plus and get better, faster wheel, more range here. I think more possibilities to ride off-road and so on. So, and I really now don't understand. So, as I was said in my, my in first my part of the video, but the idea they needed to keep it 20 kilos, keep it with almost the same battery, but we fix all these bugs with a tire, with a low clearance and so on. But we just put the bigger battery, and now the wheels even take we just take the two brand, uh, same brand, but two models, the Nikola Plus and the Tesla 3, we now with uh, almost the same price tag, but the Nikola is definitely the better product here on the market, just in my, in my opinion. The difference is only one, if you need a little bit smaller in the dimension wheel, but not the lighter one, because one kilo of a difference, it is not a lighter wheel. Three kilos, yes, I understand, but not a one kilo, kilo so. So for the lightweight riders, for the girls, uh, or if you need the wheel, uh, what you need to keep it upstairs every day into the fourth or fifth floors, with your legs, you know, just going. So this is now out of the game wheel. So I don't know. The, of course, as I say, the market and the clients, the riders will say by the buying, by the ordering these wheels, where we say this was the right direction for the bigot or not the right direction. But now for me, as I write, yes, I see what this one is now out of, a uh, little bit out of a game. I was able to speed up till the 50.1 km per hour and I had a lot of a beep, so I was not, not trying to push it anymore. And here, the last one thing I wanted to say about the beeper. Just see this video.
As you can see from the video, so I was not heard with beeper in, in my helmet. It was quite a windy day. I was pushing not so hard, I, I mean not so speedy. It was not a huge speed, you know, when all this winter going inside and so on. No, but I was not hearing these beeps at all. And uh, when I returned to home and I saw this video, I saw my video and I saw how many beeps I have, it was almost on the cutoff border here. So, and my message is, but if you will buy Tesla free, please keep it in mind that the beeper are very low volume here and you will not able to hear it in 50 kilometers per hour and this one will may cause you some problems when the wheel will cut off you will not hear it so this one very important part uh, maybe some solution will uh, will come to the market from the Bigotti in the near future but for the first generation it's it's really a problem you don't hear the beeper here so, I think that's it about the Tesla 3, interesting one product, not completely new one with new, some new features, uh, something are definitely better now, but as I said, and some points are missing, in my opinion, by the manufacturer. So, thank you once more for watching, but Dennis Hagoff was here with you, you see the sales shop, see you guys, bye bye.